Hey everyone, it's Charlie. Uh, just wanted to make this video about how to get PPC clients or pay pay per click advertising clients. Uh, this was one that was suggested in my last video. Someone was asking some questions about what a good sales process is for pay per click, um, and I've had a couple questions in the past about it, so I thought I'd go over it. I'm going to make this series of videos about how to actually get a PPC client. So this video is just going to be a broad overview. But tomorrow I'm actually going to cold email some um, prospects and let you guys see how I do that. I'll show you some of the replies I get and then I'm going to show you a call that I actually do with one of those prospects. Um, so you can see pretty much everything I do to get a pay-per-click client. Uh, so this is my five-step sales process. Uh, this is not original to me. This is a kind of a... Um, classic five-step sales process that's been talked about by many different sales trainers and in many sales books. Um, so step one, introduction. This is where I pretty much tell the person who I am and what I can do for them. And the most important part of that is the what I can do for them. Uh, and I like to be very specific about that. I think a big problem that a lot of you might, may be having is that your um, introduction is just too vague and the prospect doesn't really understand how you're going to help them and that's why they don't have enough interest. In responding to you or uh, having a conversation with you. So what I aim to do is I want uh, people to be so interested by what I say that they have to ask a question back. And of course most people just won't, but I need to have a, a good hook that'll get at least a decent amount of people responding back with a question uh, because they're interested or just telling me that they're interested. So I'll go over that a little bit more, but basically in the introduction I'm gonna say, hey, whatever their name is, I got this type of business, this type of result, I want to do the same for you, or something like that. That's kind of the, the base, basic overview. And it really depends what type of service or product you have. Uh, so step two is qualify. So this is where you figure out if um, they need your help and if you can actually help them. So I always ask a lot of questions in this stage and let them talk about their business. So I'll ask them what type of clients they want to target with what type of offer, um, and that can be a whole conversation right there, but that gives me an idea of if I can actually help them and it helps me formulate what kind of proposal I'm going to make them. Um, and it also helps them understand how I can help them. So along the way, I might give suggestions or talk about other campaigns I've done um, or just give them a better idea of how I can actually help, help them because in their mind, they're qualified me. They want to see if I can actually help or if I just um, don't really know what I'm talking about. So step three is present the service. So this is where you give them a really specific idea of what you're actually going to do for them. So it could be a case study. I know a lot of you have those. Um, I definitely think it should be specific. So it should be pretty much you should walk them through what a campaign is like. How do you start it? How do you run a campaign? What do the results look like? How do they get the results? Um, like are they delivered by email? That kind of thing. What's the process like? And what is the overall maybe ROI or what is the revenue that they can expect or what type of results can they expect from a campaign with you. Walk them through it because if they don't have a, a specific idea of what working with you is like, they're way more likely to just not do it because if it's unclear to them, uh, they're just not going to really want to take that big of a risk. So if you can walk them through it step by step and then make it seem like it's not a mystery at all, if you can make it seem like they've already gone through with it and they can see exactly what your process is like, they're more likely to sign up. Uh, so step four is presenting the proposal. So this is just a, they say a written contract agreement, something that said, something that outlines everything you've talked about. So this is what we're going to do for you. This is what it's going to cost. This is what you should expect. Sign here. Um, so this is important because it summarizes everything. It gives them pretty much the opportunity to say yes and to get started rather than leaving it up in the air. I think a lot of times. Uh, people just leave the sale kind of up in the air. The prospect doesn't really know what's going on. They don't exactly know even what they're buying necessarily. So if you put this all in a simple one or two page uh, agreement where they can see exactly what they're getting, exactly what you'll be working on and what the term of the, of the agreement is, like is it going to take one month, three months, six months, um, you're basically giving them, them the opportunity to start. So step five is the close. Um, obviously, there's a lot of techniques and methods people talk about to close someone. 
However, if you do steps one through four correctly or well, uh, a lot of the times the close will be the easiest part. You won't need to do anything. The prospect will just say, let's get started, or they'll just have one or two clarifying questions and then they're ready. Sometimes you do need to push someone to close. Um, however, I don't think that every single time it should be a super difficult thing where you're really struggling with the prospect to get them to do it. Um, every once in a while, yes, that'll happen. But I would say for me, probably eight out of 10 times, the close is pretty easy. There's just maybe a little bit of convincing or a couple of questions or maybe a concession or two that I need to make to get the deal done. But for the most part, um, once the first four steps are, are done well, the prospect is just ready to start and ready to try it out. So we'll go through all these. I'm going to make videos over the next few days where I actually do these five steps. Um, and you'll get to see how I do them. So um, I'm still not exactly sure what, what industry I'm even going to target. So if you guys want to comment down below what industry you want to see me target, um, I'm open for suggestions. Thanks, guys.